What's up everybody? It's Matt with that Jeep Adventure. We are headed down to Biloxi today. We are going to be checking out Matt Colrick's LJ that he's been building. Uh, I've never I've never met Matt in person. We've got mutual friends. We've been talking on Facebook here lately um, and he invited us to come down and check out what he's got going on. I think he's been building on this thing for a while. Um, he's got it torn back down. I think all the welding and all the fitting was done. So he's got it torn back down. Uh, he painted the frame and now I think today is the day that the engine is going back in. So we're going to go down here, check it out and uh, see what he's up to. What's up guys? Hey, How's it going? How you doing? Hey, I'm Matt. Matt. Matt, nice to meet you. Hey, Rich. Rich, good nice to, meet to meet you. Nice to meet you, brother Matt. How's it going? Good, man. All right, man, this thing is sweet. Heck yeah. What else y'all got up in here? Looks oh, like y'all got Jeeps everywhere. Everywhere. Just keep walking. Got a YJ here. Gonna be an LS swap TJ there. After we get the front suspension fixed up. Waiting on a track bar. Yeah, I got a full on like Jeep shop in here. This is the body I'm guessing. For the LJ. And the Atlas 4. Atlas 4 speed. All the Genrite armor, console, sliders, fenders. All, all aluminum. Yeah, all aluminum, all powder coated. Oh, I see, I see the real buggy over here. This is where the magic happens, right there. <laughs> we can make that go faster. <laughs> I think we should. What else, man? There's more back here. This is the little shop. Go out to the big shop. The big shop, huh? More projects or what? More projects. TJ is going to be getting some uh, updated suspension. The LJ is going to be getting a little freshen up as well. The two MJs are going to be made into a father-son project. Very for, cool. For Jason here and his son. Nice. Uh, handing over, uh, of course, the big bad boy. We got to fix that. You talk about this big bad boy or this big bad boy? Uh, they're all big. <laughs> so the red one. doing a full frame off on the J20. Uh, that's actually a three quarter ton uh, Jeep 1982. Awesome. That thing is huge. What like just the, like big. I didn't realize they were so long. They have like two bed options or were they all this long? Is there this was like a, a long step, bed? It was a, uh, a step side option. Those were shorter beds. But we're in the process of doing a spring over and kind of looking at what, what got the 360 under the hood, automatic. Data 44, 8 love, data 60 rear from the factory. And we we'll be converting the front end over to the older 60 style Gladiator front end on it. But she's pretty solid, real solid, runs great. When are y'all gonna have that one done? Uh, two to three months. Two, three months. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's standard. So this is this is an ongoing. How long have y'all had it? Uh, when did we get it, like August, September. Yeah, towards the end of summer. Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah. Awesome. That's that's our first shop flip truck, though. That's okay. It's gonna be our first flip. So. Okay. Yeah. And what what what's the official name for the shop here? This got, is the donut, donut shop. shop. The donut shop. Yeah, we'll okay. we'll send you a little video. <laughs> All right, well, let's go check out this LJ. Hey y'all, I'm Matt with HQ Off-Road. This is my build, the Lumi LJ.
This started out as a 2004 Jeep LJ. Has a Dam 60 front, 14 bolt rear, stretch five inches in the rear, running the Genrite tank in the, in the back. Well, up front, I'm running a Dana 60 05 Plus Super Duty front axle with the busted knuckle Willwood brake kit, Reed knuckles, Artec high steer arms, ball joint eliminators, and I wanted to try to run as much aluminum as possible. So I'm running the Steer Smarts Artec uh, front steering, crossover steering that runs over to the PSC Hydro Assist. It wouldn't be an HQ off-road build if we didn't take it up a level. Jason with the donut shop decided to add a, cu a couple custom cu uh, touches to the front end. We had to notch the frame because at full compression, the drag link was hitting the frame. So we boxed it in to make it look as factory as possible. Jason, you want to tell us a couple of extra things that we did to the front end just yeah. to take it to the next level? Absolutely. Well, you know, when we're building these Jeeps, these custom Jeeps, not everything always falls right into place. So we always got to put a few little touches on it and, and make room. So for instance, even on our uh, track bar mount down here on the axle, you can see normally this is a flat bra bracket all the way down, but if we brought it all the way out or all the way in, wasn't enough clearance for our steering. So we had to make our own little box here and just line it up good that way, you know, and uh, had to again clearance the frame for full stuff on the passenger side here. Um, another few things that we did that you can see here is we boxed in the frame for our track bar mount. As you guys know, those track bars are under a lot of load. We actually tied our motor mounts into our coilover towers here, you know, just to help gusset these as well. So we also mounted some bump stop cans here, got them gusseted up really good, boxing up the frame. So every little thing you add as far as these gussets really adds strength to these frames, which definitely helps off-road. We also incorporated these Genrite body mount brackets. Helps give another inch or so clearance there. Out back here, we modified our anti-rock sway bar brackets. One of them boxed in. Normally there's a big bracket that comes on the outside of the frame, but we just wanted to clean it up a good bit. And uh, so it looks a little bit cleaner there. Um, again, we Frenched in our bump stop cans in the rear. Just for, again, we're just trying to keep it simple but clean. We relocated the Genrite gas tank skid plate a little bit. It's hard to tell from you know the pictures, but again, a couple inches here and there really makes a big difference. So as you can see, we're doing a lot of work to the Jeep. Once we had it down to the bare frame, the only thing left that we hadn't touched was the motor. So we decided to yank it all out without Matt's permission, of course. And we went ahead and took down the motor and gave it a fresh coat of paint. We went with the new valve covers, new oil pan, powder coat of the intake. Just uh, We didn't want that to be the eyesore when you pop the hood. So we're about to get this thing put back in the frame rails.
down. That way we don't just mess up all the paint that we just did. All right, so whenever they went to hook the Atlas up, uh, it wasn't sitting just right on the skid. There wasn't enough clearance, so they're thinking that they got the stud bolts here uh, in the wrong spot um, on the front of the Atlas, so they're gonna move them to a different location, and hopefully that fixes the issue. This will, this will only take two or three hours. Since we went so far with this build, I decided I wanted to freshen up the motor and try to get the most throttle responses I can get. Since I'm going to be running 40s, heavy tire, I just wanted to try to get as much as I can out of this 4.0. So I went with a flow cooler, water pump, Elderbrock 180 degree thermostat, powder coated the intake manifold with the same silver sparkle as the rest of my build. It's going to be on my bumpers, my fenders, rock sliders cage will all be silver sparkle. Tried to open it up with a 62 millimeter uh, BBK throttle body. Case suspension, 12 hole injectors, Banks torque tube header, and the Magnaflow wide pipe. And just to give the actual, the extra bling factor, I went with the Kevco aluminum oil pan. Another thing, this Jeep had really bad heat soak, even when it was stopped. So we wrapped it with the DEI Injector rail wrap, intake manifold wrap. All right, well, this is uh, pretty much gonna wrap it up for everything on Matt's LJ build. This thing is freaking sweet. And we're gonna come back, we're gonna do some more filming. Uh, yeah. I think he's gonna, he's gotta get some stuff plumbed in up front, some the hydraulic kit and probably brake the body. Lines. Yeah, brake line, get the body on. So it may be a while before we get back down here. It's probably gonna look totally different the next time we get here, but yeah. uh, that's good because that's progress and then that means we can start making trail videos with this thing. So. Exactly. Uh, Matt, you got anything else you want to say? That's it. Check us out at www.hqoffroad.com. That's right. And follow That Jeep Adventure on YouTube and on Instagram.